You know, the idea for this exhibition really came during the first months of lockdown. All of us were depending on key people doing their jobs to keep everyday life running, whether it was people who were rubbish collectors, transport drivers, and of course the NHS staff. I think we all felt an incredible gratitude to those people who were having to go out who didn't have a choice, even though it meant putting your life at risk. It was really kind of heartbreaking to see central London and the site so empty, and so a big theme of the project was really to try and put some life into the site. When you're doing a project in public space, it's, it's really, really different to doing something in the gallery. It's been a real leap into the unknown for the uh, organisation and for the artists. We're putting works onto a grade one listed building, so we're really experimenting with um, display techniques and methods. You've got to think about the audience as well, and, and an audience that you know, hasn't necessarily signed up to see artworks. And you're also really competing with a lot of kind of visual noise. So you really need an artist who could come up with really visually arresting images that would appeal to people who maybe know nothing about art, but are just walking by. We didn't know that the artists would have such personal responses to the subjects when we commissioned them, but it was a theme that really arose very quickly. A lot of the artists had family members who were key workers, or they had close friends. You have these very intimate portraits, but at big scales. I mean, some of them are over six meters high. That brings something that normally we have as a very personal one-to-one -one moment into the public sphere. By having all these individual portraits, we're also creating a collective portrait of what this moment was like. These works will really be an important record of what we've all been through.